You can make calls by touching your ear with the tip of your finger thanks to this amazing invention from the engineers at Inundal Lab. They have developed a strap that operates by conduction. Simply put, vibration is how sound is delivered. You may answer calls by simply pairing the strap with your smartphone via Bluetooth. The device's capacity to operate independently and compatibility with a number of traditional and smart watches are two of its benefits. It works with both Android and iOS devices, and it includes a tracker software that helps you stay organized. The battery may operate in standby mode for seven days or for four hours of speaking time. The strap starts at $139 and is offered in three colors. Wait until you see what this next invention can do. Why purchase an electric bike when a standard one can be upgraded? The British team, Scarpa, just proved that. While just adding 7.3 pounds to your bike, their device can extend your riding distance by up to 37 miles. Disc brakes are a requirement for upgrading your bike, though. Scarpa rotates the rear brake disc in contrast to other products that spin the wheel. Additionally, the system features built-in speed restrictions of either 16 or 20 miles per hour, depending on the area. It takes approximately two and a half hours to fully charge, and the package contains a cadence sensor and a customized brake disc. Scarpa should be available for purchase in 2023 and costs approximately $1,200. With the purchase of this monofin, anyone can experience what it's like to be a dolphin or mermaid. Michael Phelps, a 23-time Olympic gold medalist, tested it out and was able to swim 87% quicker than his 2009 world record. The monofin took roughly 10 years to develop, during which time there were 15 prototypes made. The final design has four color variations and a starting price of $400. A unique key is included, and the design can unfold to fit inside a backpack. This installation is a modern piece of art that can be found in Manchester, England. A tribute to the Liverpool and Manchester Railway permeates the entire undertaking. It was the first railway with two tracks running the entire length and the first to use just steam-powered locomotives. It started operating in 1830, and after a decade of rapid railroad construction, the profitable and successful operation caused a railroad fever. The route is also famous for a tragic event where one of the lawmakers who attended the opening was run over by a train and passed away, becoming the first person to be killed by a train. This project's practicality and compactness are its key strengths. The use of solar panels and the design's fusion of the present and the future remind us of early train paintings. Without a few Japanese ventures, a list of strange innovations wouldn't be complete, right? Another robot has shocked us from the country of the rising sun. This time, it's for hair shampooing. One of them was put to the test, and Panasonic's experts are confident that it will be useful when caring for the elderly and those with restricted mobility. The process is fully mechanized, and the robot has 24 unique fingers. If you only need to wash your hair, all you have to do is sit in the chair, raise your head over the sink, and wait for three minutes. If you want to dry your hair, give yourself an extra five minutes. You can add shampoo and conditioner as you like. The mechanical fingers feel almost identical to genuine fingers, according to a Panasonic engineer. A multi-purpose drone is another invention from Japanese engineers. According to the maker, the aircraft features a 10-horsepower gasoline two-stroke engine and can fly for two and a half hours with a load of 33 pounds. The drone can be used in agriculture, logistics, neighborhood surveillance, and flights to remote places affected by natural disasters. The 42-pound model can fit inside a tiny van. Maximum speed is 62 miles per hour with a cruising speed of 44 miles per hour. The drone is also wind-resistant. A battery powers the electronics, and the gas tank has a capacity of around 2 gallons. On your screen, you may see a system that will protect the privacy of important conversations while also reducing background noise. However, it's not a fresh iteration of Darth Vader's mask. Through a tiny jack cable or Bluetooth, it can be connected to your phone or another device. You can wear the system around your neck without drawing too much attention because it resembles a wireless headphone. It has a 10-hour usable life battery and an 85-hour standby time. The device costs $229 and is offered in four colors. It also includes three coverings, a cord, and a USB adapter. If you are enjoying this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. Here, American designers attempt to update the traditional bicycle helmet. They went out into the streets and inquired about the preferred type of helmet from those using scooters, skateboards, and motorcycles. 
This folding version is the end result. Both American and European safety standards are met by this helmet. When folded, it is 4 inches wide and opens to roughly 8 inches. This model may be carried in a backpack with ease because it weighs only about 16 ounces. On warm summer days, the 12 vents will guarantee a comfortable ride. You must shell out at least $70 for the helmet, and the battery has a 20-hour maximum runtime. I think everyone could use this next invention. Why not automate this process as ironing by hand takes a lot of time and effort? This ironing apparatus was designed by a group of English inventors. Simply hang your clothing in it, choose an operation mode, and wait 3 to 6 minutes. Up to 12 articles of clothing can fit in the machine, which also comes with adjustable hangers. The ironing is done with a hot press mechanism that is patented. Additionally, you can switch on dry modes to quickly dry wet clothes or steam modes, which are best for delicate clothing. The system's 50 by 32 inch dimensions and about $900 price are its only drawbacks. You can purchase this foot-based gaming controller if you wish to play video games with your feet. This device has three programmable buttons that can be used alone or in combinations. The most obvious use for this controller is in racing simulations, but the makers are certain that it will also be beneficial in fighting and action games. It's a great option for multiplayer gaming because you can connect up to four controllers to one PC. The buttons include specific magnetic caps for different foot sizes and can withstand at least 10 million clicks. Naturally, it has RGB lighting as well. It costs $150 to purchase the controller. A transportable, waterproof backpack made of eco-friendly materials. Sounds boring, doesn't it? What if it could also function as a flotation device, an air cushion, or even a shield? This Kickstarter project specifically offers that. The backpack can handle up to 40 pounds and has a capacity of around 4 gallons. There are two variants available. A standard variant costs 107, while a version with Kevlar reinforcement costs 189. Both variants are extremely dependable and weigh 1 and 2 pounds, respectively. The backpack may be converted into a bag thanks to the detachable straps, and you can add extras like a mini pump, an accessories pocket, and a laptop sleeve. The needs of emergency agencies and agricultural workers were the key considerations in the creation of this personal flying vehicle. Farmers and other professionals have a need for such gadgets, according to the creators of the RISE project, who are confident that there is a market for them. The vehicle's max speed is 63 miles per hour, and its range is 25 miles. Inside the vehicle, there are six separate propulsion systems with detachable batteries, and the structure is modular and easily adaptable for various jobs. Even non-tech people will be able to learn how to fly it thanks to the control system simplification and AI assistance. One of the developers claimed that if you have a lost calf, it's ideal for searching for it. Several years ago, Skoda developed a baby stroller to market their Octavia RS vehicle. After a poll revealed that roughly 76% of young fathers would spend more time with their child if they had something similar, Skoda reportedly gave the idea of putting the stroller into production considerable thought. It has a hydraulic suspension and a 6.6-foot maximum height. The Octavia sports 18-inch wheels in comparison to the 20-inch wheels on the stroller. The low-profile rubber works well on all types of roads. Naturally, the brake lights, headlights, and rear-view mirrors are all reinforced. However, we have just one question. Where should this thing be parked?